I'm back. Ugh, the hair. Really? You ruined my groove. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Reject Nation, my name is Sally. Sally Lamonaco, aka Salamander. If you're an OG, you might remember me on the channel from many, many moons ago. If not, hello. I was just talking to Greg and revealed a deep dark secret to him that I actually have not seen most of the MCU movies. I know. I know, it's horrible, but for once my procrastination has paid off because I came up with a great idea. Well, we came up with, I came up with a great idea. <laughs> that we would watch the Marvel movies together on this channel, phases one through four. So I have seen many of them, but I saw them like right when they came out. And to be honest, I don't really remember plot very well from a lot of these movies. And I don't really remember many details. I remember enjoying them. I just didn't retain a lot of that information. I'm going to rewatch the ones that I have seen and then you'll be able to see my fresh reactions, seeing them for the second time and then seeing a lot of them for the first time. I've not seen Endgame, I've not seen Infinity War. Can't wait to watch those with you guys, but we're gonna go in order that way. It's the full dramatic effect. So it's gonna be a great time. Please hit that notification bell if you wanna be up to date on when I'm going to be posting. I am planning on posting on this channel once a week and we are going to go through all of them until the very end. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if I make you laugh, if you like looking at me, I don't know, uh, please give a like on the video because it does help the algorithm and helps keep this channel alive. Also, obviously this video is edited. This is not the full reaction to the full movie. If you want to watch the movie with me completely unedited, sit down, grab a bowl of popcorn and see my full reaction to everything. You can watch the full reaction on The Real Rejects Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. So check it out. Lastly, thanks to Prepper for editing together these highlights for the channel. Y'all are a real one. If I say anything embarrassing, please cut it out. <laughs> I'm gonna be calling this segment the Marvel Movie Marathon. Say that five times fast. Marvel movie marathon, Marvel movie marathon. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. See, I can say that one. For the first MCU movie we are watching together, we are starting off with a bang, Iron Man. Let phase one begin. I feel like you're driving me to court martial. This is crazy. What did I do? Hey, Forrest, we can talk, sir. Oh, I see, so it's personal? No, you intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. <laughs> I mean, I'd apologize, but isn't that what we're going for here? I thought of you as a soldier first. I'm an airman. But you have actually excellent bone structure there. I'm kind of having a hard time not looking at you now. Is that weird? <laughs> he got me flustered. Is it cool if I take a picture with you? Yes, it's very cool. I don't want to see this on your MySpace page. Please, no gang signs. Oh, that dates this MySpace. Yeah. Dude, I would down that whiskey. That is starting out way darker than I thought it would. Today, Tony Stark has changed the face of the weapons industry by ensuring freedom and protecting America and her interests around the globe. Is he supposed to be like a hotter version of Elon Musk? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present this year's Apogee Award to Mr. Tony Stark. Tony? You get shot, Tony. It's okay. Well, I'm not Tony Stark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if I were Tony, I would tell you how honored I feel. Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Do you plan to report on the millions we've saved by advancing medical technology or kept from starvation with our IntelliCrops? All those breakthroughs, military funding, honey. You ever lose an hour of sleep your whole life? Be prepared to lose a few with you. This is a Disney movie. Is that Malibu? It looks like Malibu. Yes, let's go. It's Malibu. Represent. After all these years, Tony still has you picking up the dry cleaning. I do anything and everything that Mr. Stark requires, including occasionally taking out the trash. Will that be all? 
Yo. Shots fired. The MIT commencement speech. Is in June. Please don't harangue me about well, this stuff. They're haranguing me, way, way so down. I'm going to say yes. Well, deflect and absorb it. Don't I need you to sign this me. before you get What are you, you trying to get rid of me for? Do we got plans? As a matter of fact, they do. I don't like it when you have plans. Oh, he's jealous. Come on, get yourself something nice for me. I already did. And? Oh, it was very nice. And? Very tasteful. Thank you, Mr. Stark. You're welcome, Miss Potts. That sexual tension is great. It would be irresponsible not to drink. I'm just talking about a nightcap. Hot sake? Yes, two, please. No, just, I'm not drinking. I don't want any. Hey, that's what I'm talking. <laughs> Yes. For your consideration, the Jericho. I'll be throwing one of these in with every purchase of 500 million or more. To peace. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah. That is an electromagnet hooked up to a car battery, and it's keeping the shrapnel from entering your heart. Hmm? Ah. Ah. Let me. That makes me feel uncomfy. This is uh, for you to start working immediately, and when you're done, it will set you free. Yeah, right, yeah. That's palladium, 0.15 grams. You need at least 1.6, so why don't you go break down the other 11? Careful, careful, we only get one shot at this. Have steady hands. Why do you think you're still alive, huh? Yeah, how do you not get anxious building a bomb in a cave? This is our ticket out of here. A suit! The Iron Giant. Wrong movie. He's like, that's not a bomb. <laughs> You have till tomorrow. I'm surprised they don't have any of the other guys like actually in the room with him. But I guess that would defeat this whole purpose. He's speaking Hungarian. I don't speak Hungarian. Okay. What do you know? <laughs> Open it, I dare you. They're coming. Nothing pretty, just get it done. Just get They're it done. They're coming. I'm gonna go buy you some time. Stick to the plan. He's gonna die, isn't he? Surprise! <laughs> that must be heavy. Oh, that would hurt so bad. <laughs> Sound. Get up! Watch out! How do you miss? He's like right there. <laughs> My turn. Yeah. Light him up. I 
Everything's gonna explode. What are you doing? What an idiot. Yeah, let's shoot at explosives. It's got to be like cooking him. How is he not burning? Happy 4th of July. Ooh. Imagine they just flew by. <laughs> Fuck. She was worried. Take us to the hospital, no. please, Abby. No, Tony. You, no you have to go answer. to the hospital. The I don't doctor have to do anything. I've been in captivity for three months. Three months. Effective immediately, I am shutting down the weapons manufacturer division of Stark International. As I can decide what the future of this company will be, what direction it should take, one that I'm comfortable with and is consistent with the highest good for this country as well. Good for him. We're a team. Do you understand? There's nothing we can't do if we stick together, like your father and I. I'm Tony. sorry I didn't give you a heads up, okay? But if I had, then Tony, we call it no more. Then you would have said no. So. Just gently lift okay. the wire. Okay. Uh, I don't think that I'm qualified to do no, this. No, you're fine. You are the most capable, qualified, trustworthy person I've ever met. Should she be putting her ring in there? It smells. Yeah, it does. The copper wire. The copper wire, you okay. got it? I got it. Okay, you got it? They didn't need to add sound effects. Okay, now make sure that when you pull it out, you don't pull out the, there's a magnet at the end of it. That was it. What's wrong? Oh, nothing, I'm just going into cardiac arrest because you what? yanked I thought you said this was like safe. Out lure. We gotta hurry. Take this, take this. Okay. Gotta... He's so calm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Is okay? It? Put it in! Stop talking! He's dying! Like, shut up. Gee. Ah. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I feel great. You okay? <laughs> He's gonna have to get her therapy. <laughs> ever, ever, ever ask me to do anything like that ever again. I, I don't have anyone but you. That made me emotional. <laughs> What's going on? Need to say come in. Of course he didn't die. That was good framing. I liked that. And three. Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. For lack of a better option, dummy is still on fire safety. If you douse me again and I'm not on fire, I'm donating you to City College. <laughs> All right, nice and easy. Seriously. Don't do it in the room with your nice cars, bro. In three, two, one. Okay. Please don't follow me around with it either, because I feel like I'm going to catch on fire spontaneously. <laughs> okay, this is where I don't want to be. Okay. Oh, not the car. Not the car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis, you there? That's your surface, sir. Engage heads up display. Check. Report all preferences from home interface. We'll do so. That's sick. I love the silver. And as 
like a dream. Oh, imagine like going in the water and then drowning in that thing. Oh my god. My anxiety could never. You're crazy. Oh my god. I knew a car would get destroyed at some point. <laughs> it's kind of insulting, but also sweet. Connect to the Cisco, have it reconfigure the shell metals, use the gold titanium alloy from the Seraphim tactical satellite. That should ensure a fuselage integrity while maintaining power to weight ratio. Got it? Yes. Got it understood all of that some claim he's suffering from post-traumatic stress and has been bedridden for weeks whatever the case may be no one expects an appearance from him tonight oh is he just gonna like pull up <laughs> love that hey Tony you remember me sure don't <laughs> oh my god. Stanley! What's the world coming to when a guy's got a crash? You have no Oh my god. Look at you. Jeez. Hey, what a surprise. Yeah, I'll see you inside. Surprise, motherfucker. You look fantastic. I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here? Just avoiding government agents. Are you by yourself? Where'd you get that dress? I. Oh, it was a birthday present Screen. from you, actually. Oh. <laughs> oh. Two vodka martinis, extra dry, extra olives, extra fast. Make one of them dirty, right? Did he put a hundred in there? Tony I don't Stark. know what that was. Oh, hey. Thanks for seeing you here. Yikes. Carrie. Christine. <laughs> Can I at least get a reaction from you? Panic. <laughs> I actually almost fought at Hookline and Sinker. I was out of town for a couple months, in case you didn't Is hear. Is this what you call accountability? We're double dealing under the table, are we? Silence is an answer, guys. Always remember that. Recent violence has been attributed to a group of foreign fighters referred to by locals as the Ten Rings, either forced to join their militia. <laughs> He's like, ah, I can blow people up. Yes. Cover their eyes. Rhodes. Well, I need your help right now. It's funny how that works, huh? Yeah. Speaking of funny, we've got a weapons depot that was just blown up a few clicks from where you're being held captive. You sure you don't have any tech in that area I should know about? Nope. Mm -hmm. This isn't a game. You do not send civilian equipment into my active war zone. You understand that? This is not a piece of equipment. I'm in it. It's a shoot. On your belly. It looks like a man. Shake him off. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Whiplash one, down. Whiplash 
two, do you see a shoot? Negative. No shoot. <laughs> He's a superhero. <laughs> Me, General. It's my first time. I designed this to come off, so... Ow! Hey! What's going on here? Let's face it. This is not the worst thing you've caught me doing. <laughs> Are those bullet holes? Of course. This is only a first crude effort. A man with a dozen of these can rule all of Asia. I will give you these designs as a gift. I hope you'll repay me with a gift of iron soldiers. Come on, Atofa Sedef. Yeah, don't worry. It'll only last for 15 minutes. All right, let's finish up here. It's just weird seeing Jeff Bridges as a villain, I keep thinking of the Big Lebowski. <laughs> Sector 16. She figured it out. Oh, hey, dude. The dude is here to kill. I know what you're going through, Pepper. Like, literally or metaphorically? You are a very rare woman. Tony doesn't know how lucky he is. <laughs> Creep. Better get back there. That was stressful. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! With a box of scraps! I'm not Tony Stark. Tony? Oh no. Ah, uh, Tony. When I, uh, ordered the hit on you, I worried that I was... Here comes the villain speech. <laughs> Killing the golden goose. No, oh, no. Okay, where's Tony now? I don't know. He's not answering his phone. Please go over there and make sure everything's okay. Didn't he say it lasted like 15 minutes? How is he walking? How is he alive? Where's Pepper? <laughs> She's fine. She's with five agents. They're about to arrest Obadiah. That's not gonna be enough. My key's not working. It's not opening the door. Oh, wow, what's that? It's like a little device. It's like a thing that's going to pick the lock. <laughs> that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Not bad, huh? Let's do it. Damn. <laughs> of course she's in heels. Ah, how are you running with heels on the graded floor? Oh, my God. Pepper. Tony! Tony, are you okay? I'm fine. How Obadiah, he's, he's gone insane. What the? Girl, you better keep running in those heels. The services are no longer required. Oh, my God. It's like Transformers. For 30 years I've been holding you up. This company for nothing. Ah. Uh. Impressive. <laughs> He's gonna phrase him. Power, sir. But my suit is more advanced in every way. How'd you solve the icing problem? Icing problem. <laughs> Might want to look into it. <laughs> we are now running on emergency backup power. Are you okay? I'm almost out of power. I gotta get out of this thing. I'll be right there. 
How did you not die? Oh my god. Ooh. Tony! This isn't working. We're gonna have to overload the reactor and blast the roof. <laughs> this looks important. <laughs> I never had a taste for this sort of thing, but I must admit, I'm deeply enjoying the suit. It's ready, Tony. Get off the roof. Ooh. Ooh. Trying to rid the world of weapons. You gave me the best one ever. Pepper. And now, I'm going to kill you with it. I had no idea. Uh, how is she not dead? What? You'll be hearing from us. From the strategic homeland and- Just call us S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> There's been speculation that I was involved in the events that occurred, the freeway and the rooftop. I'm sorry, several... Mr. Stark, but do you honestly expect us to believe that that was a bodyguard in a suit? It is one thing to question the official story and another thing entirely to make wild accusations. <laughs> Truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> I love how she's just sitting there like, I got set up by Iron Man, got it. <laughs> so, um, listen, I take full responsibility for this. I, <laughs> she so had a date with Marvel <laughs> and uh, I did not tell her like, by the way, there's a thing called post credit scenes. You should stick around for them till the very end. Uh, but she she's already like moved on to the next movie here. But yeah, that's my fault. Why there's not a reaction to uh, the post credit scene? Would have been cool to see a reaction to that. I know, I know, I know. That's that's my fault. I should have told. I should have told her. I'm sorry. That was Iron Man. <laughs> He is Iron Man. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. <laughs> I know this was made in like 2008, so there's some obvious like dated stuff about it, but I will say I'm very pleasantly surprised by how I feel like mature the plot was in comparison to other Disney action movies. I know this is Disney, but also Marvel, so also technically a little more mature with the superhero aspects of it. I think the comic books obviously are way more violent and mature and so I guess I was just shocked to see a lot of uh, mature elements in this movie but as an adult I enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, it was really entertaining. I wish I had Tony Stark's confidence. Like, damn, there's something about that that got me a little, it's a little hot in here. <laughs> I love the classic, like, starts out as an asshole and then the character arc, you know, is blooming throughout the whole entire film and then by the end of it, the asshole is the hero. It's been done a lot, but I love the way that his character plays it because a lot of the dialogue was very, self-aware I would say because you would like think of certain things and you know it would kind of you would basically think a lot of cheesy things or you would kind of expect him to say something based off the formula of like other movies and dialogue and he would kind of call it out I just thought the dialogue between specifically between um, Tony Stark and Pepper Potts was very fun <laughs> it was very different like I don't know I would expect him to say something cheesy Easy, and then it was something that you know they they pretty much turned that on its head which I thought was really really unique a breath of fresh air for a Disney movie that typically you can kind of you know expect certain things to happen there were parts of the plot that were predictable but I still enjoyed it because it seemed to be very self-aware about it and kind of made up for it in the dialogue I would say and a lot of the jokes and kind of poking fun of the genre which I think is fun and different so I, I definitely now get why Iron Man 
is a very popular superhero. I really like the characters. I'm excited to see this character continue to blossom into a hero. Hopefully he keeps his snarky comments because that's obviously part of his character and I love it. Hopefully him and Pepper get together. I don't know. It just makes me want to watch the rest of them. <laughs> I thought the military elements were very different. Like, again, not really something that I was expecting. I don't really know what I was expecting in terms of the plot, but I thought that that was... Uh, like again more of a mature element to have in a movie that is considered a Disney franchise. Even though it is a you know formulaic sort of situation I still really enjoyed a lot of the cinematography in it. It was different. I think that even for the time in 2008 a lot of it like didn't look bad at all. There was that scene where um, the villain was like facetiming him in the beginning but it was before iPhone so it was on his like flip phone and like it didn't look too detailed which I thought was great because that always bothers me when um characters are like video calling each other and it, you can tell that it, it looks way too good for a video call so i mean those sort of elements of it like the cgi i thought was really good it definitely holds up in in that sense in my opinion even though i don't i'm not like an expert on cgi but nothing about the cgi kind of pulled me out of it and was like oh that looks bad you know so i thought that was that was great. It seems like this was kind of just, like it was a solid movie, but it seems like it's definitely kind of a appetizer. I feel like there's definitely more to dive into that whole world. And obviously I know there's a show called Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I haven't watched it, but I really like that that was also introduced in this movie, S.H.I.E.L.D., because I know that that is a big part of the Avengers, right? That's something that's kind of like their own company i guess so yeah i really enjoyed watching this with you guys again give this video a thumbs up if you had any sort of similar reactions that i did or if you like my commentary on it and again head over to the patreon patreon.com slash the real rejects if you want to see my full reaction don't forget to subscribe see you guys for the next movie